Hello guys, this is Michael from the Motion Design School. In this tutorial we will make an overview on the script called Supermorphins and on what it can do. First, let's run it from the window panel. Here it is, Supermorphins. You can dock it whatever you want, but I will leave it like this. It has pretty simple interface. The main button is here, it makes all the magic. Let's go to the composition Simple Morphings. Select layers in the order you want them to morph and hit Morph it. Select the first layer and in the effects panel you can see a couple of effects. Please don't change anything in the SM transformer without real need. Let's just hide it. The main controller is the SM controller. It has three sliders, amplitude, frequency and delay. All of them are about the fading swing animation after the main animation. All of them must be familiar to you. Amplitude is about the power of the fading animation. It's in percents. Frequency is about the number of the waves in a second. And decay controls the time of the fading animation. The animation has some trajectory but you can easily change it. Press P on the keyboard with the first layer selected. This opens the position property of the layer. As you can see, here are already some case and also an expression. You don't need to edit expression, let's just focus on the case. Select the second key. It's a return position of the animation. Let's change it. Then let's select the third key and change the outcoming tangent. Also, we will change the incoming tangent of the last k. Pay attention to the third k, it must be rowing in the time. Otherwise, the animation will look awful. Maybe you don't want to have a return animation, just the straight one. In that case, you can select two layers and hit morph it with the Alt K press. As you can see, now there is only straightforward animation with the same options. Ok, let's see what are trails about. I will change the count of trails to the 9. Select the animated layer and press trails. Here is the generated trails layer. Seems pretty nice. Here on the layer all the main settings such as core, width, dashes and some settings for randomizing trails. You can manually change trajectory of all the trails. By the way, trails can be applied to any animated layer, not only morphed one. Good. Let's see what else script can do. Here, in the multiple morphing composition, you can see a lot of elements. I'll select some of them, and the last will be the layer in which they all will be morphed. Click Morph it. Awesome! Let's select all other layers and the last one. Hit Morph it with Alt K press it. Cool, now we can select all animated layers and press Trails. Here is the main control layer for all trails, but if you want to adjust some of them, you just need to disable expressions on the properties you want to customize independently and change them. Right. Here is one special option. I can imagine that you have a lot of objects which you want to morph by pairs. Let's go to the to text composition. Here we have the text super morphings, which are already divided on letters. I will select all pairs I want to morph with Shift K pressed.
In that case, the count field above the trails will change the offset set in the time of the pairs. Then, by still pressing shift, I will hit on the main button. Well done! You can also press Alt-K along with the Shift-K to have a straightforward animation. Ok, the last option is the slicer. Here is, in the slicer comp, I have two precomposed layers. Let's select one and hit slicer. It divides layer to the number of slices determined in the field count below the slicer. You can divide any number of layers and all of them be divided on the same amount of slices. But be sure that you doesn't divide the layer with masks. In that case you will probably get the wrong result. Let me demonstrate it to you. Here I have the disabled layer with mask on it. Let's enable it and if I will use slicer on it now I will get the awful result. So to make it right, let's press Ctrl Shift plus C on the keyboard to precompose the layer. I will move all attributes into the new composition. In it I will put the region of interest. And then I will go to the composition, crop comp to the region of interest. Go. Now I can use slicer properly. Then I can select slices by pairs and with shift K press it, hit morph it. Ok, good. You can morph anything to everything you want. Shape to image, image to shape. Now let's create a new composition and add to images. I have it in my project. Let's import them and add them to the composition. You can morph one image to another easily or you can do it in other direction. Also you can morph image to text or text to image. I will add some text, uh, it's our school, motion design school and let morph our pictures to that text. Uh, we select both of them and hit morph it. Cool. Uh, we can also take text first and then picture and morph text to the picture. Good! Hope this tutorial help you to make awesome animations with the super morphing script. Good luck and goodbye!